Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths video on estimating the distance from a velocity time graph. So we've got a velocity time graph or, or speed time graph here and we've got some bike and it's kind of getting gradually faster and then at this point it starts slowing down like this. And we want to estimate the distance that that bike has travelled. And I've got this handy chart here which summarises how we find sort of distances and speeds, acceleration, etc. from different types of graph. And we can see that if we have a speed or velocity time graph and we find the area under the graph, that gives us the distance travelled. Now, because it's a curved graph, it makes it slightly harder to find the area. So what we need to do is we actually have to divide it up into trapeziums and triangles. So we'll see how to do that. Now, the question will tell you how many strips it wants you to divide it up. So it tells us it wants to divide it up into three strips. So three strips kind of vertically like that. Now, the bike's been going for six seconds. So if we divide that time up into three strips, that's going to be two second intervals. We've got two seconds, two seconds, two seconds. And then what we do is we, from each time, so the two seconds, four seconds, etc., we draw a line up to the graph like this. And the same with the four second mark, so we draw a line up. And then a line up from here as well. And then this point here as well. So each of those x value 0, 2, 4, 6, we draw a line going up until we hit the graph. And then we join them up dot to dot. So we got a line like this, then we got a line like this, and then we've got a line from here to here like this. And we're trying to find this area under our trapeziums here. And we can see actually at the end we've actually got a triangle. That will often happen for these questions. So how do we find the area of triangles and trapeziums? Well we can just use the uh, usual formulae. So let's find, let's label these uh, a, B, and C. So we've got A, B, and C. So let's find the area of A first. Well, that's a triangle, so we can just use half times base times height. So we're going to do half times the base of the triangle, well, that's just 2, times the height of the triangle, well, that's 4, and that gives us 4. And the unit of this will be metres, because we're saying the end area under the graph is a distance, so it's going to be 4 metres. What about B? This is a trapezium. Now, the area of a trapezium is the average of the parallel sides times by the distance between them. So can we see that these are the two parallel lines on this trapezium? So we want to find the average of those two parallel sides. And to find the average of two numbers, we just add them and divide by two. So what is that distance there? Well, that's four, we can see from here. So that's four plus this height here, which is 6. We're going to divide that by 2 because we're averaging it, and we're timesing the distance between the parallel sides, which is 2. So that gives you 5 times 2, which is 10 metres. And then finally, C, we do the same thing. So we find the average of the parallel sides. So that's 6 plus 2. Divide by 2 because we find the average parallel sides times the distance between them, and that gives us 8 metres. And then that means the distance is just the sum of these distances travelled in each of the uh, strips. So that's going to be 4 plus 10 plus 8, and that is equal to 22 metres. And that is the final answer.